I'm Joe with OC Detailing and today I have something very special in my shop. It's been very, very fun for us over the years. We've worked on so many Tesla cars, like uh, close to 1800 Model S's, 700 Model X's. We know these cars inside and out. But today I have a first in here. I have a Tesla Model 3. This is the first Tesla that's technically affordable. This is a Tesla meant for the masses. So I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, the first thing I'm gonna point out is that here's the key. It's the size of a credit card, um, which is pretty interesting. So eventually this car will work with your phone where it does everything from Bluetooth. But in the meanwhile, you need this to get in and out of the car. Uh, I will be showing you guys the inside of the car, but first I'm gonna go over some points on the outside. Like uh, traditionally, like on a Model S, we had these really cool pop out sleep door handles. You have the same look over here, but it doesn't pop out. So you have this. Uh, like the Model S, you do have the full autopilot features, the cameras in the pillars, cameras in the pillars. Also the cameras on the side, on either one of them. Unlike the Model S though, the front end is much smaller on this car. So from right here, you can see that, uh, you know, if you compare the two, you have far less room in here. You could easily fit one dead body in this one, and this one maybe, uh, you know, like a suitcase the size of your carry-on bag. Um, also, the other thing, I, the first thing that jumped out at me when I saw this car was these wheels. These are the Aero wheels. Um, personally, not a fan, but apparently you can just snap these off pretty easily, which I would demo for you, but I haven't done it yet, and I don't want to break anything. Uh, you can snap these off and there's a gorgeous rim underneath here if you don't want the arrow look. Um, the headlights, beautiful design. I really think the front end of this car has a very uh, Porsche feel to me. When I stand at it looking, looking at it right here, I feel like it looks like a miniature Panamera, which is a gorgeous car, so that's not a bad thing. Um, the rest of it, you can tell this thing's just meant to carry people. It's like it's a small car, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any lack of room in here. Uh, the trunk is massive, so you have a Model X and you have a Model S that both have these big hatches, right? This car actually is not a hatchback, it has a trunk. You could easily fit four sets of golf clubs in there, um, you know, anything you want. It even has a little drop down compartment here. Convenience not having a gas tank, you got a lot of extra room to put stuff in, which this is really cool too this big window. So Tesla likes putting big windows on things. And the reason I notice big windows is because we tent cars. So when I see a big piece of glass like this, it stands out to me because I remember the first time I called my uh, windshield tent supplier for the Model X windshield that is just uh, a little bit bigger than this. They asked me if I was tenting buildings because to do this, it's huge. I'm, not, I'm gonna tent the window on this one. I'm not sure how hard or easy it is, but it does jump out that you have an entire glass front to back. It's not all one piece, but it's still really cool. So now I wanna take you guys inside the car. So very roomy. You've got cool cup holders here. Uh, this right here is how you open the door from the inside. Even though it appears that those door handles are manual, they're not, they're electronic. So this electronically opens the door. Uh, the power window button here. It's very simple. There's a lot of headroom. I am six foot tall and I have no problem sitting back here. Also, if I happen to be getting driven around in this car by itself, I could sit here with you know somebody and I could point out how beautiful the stars are if I needed a cheesy thing to talk about because I can see it through this big piece of glass, which is great. Um, the seats are comfortable. It's well designed, just very simple. I got a little room right there. Uh, door panel has some extra storage space. It's overall, I mean, it's, it's a lot more than you would expect because most cars this size, the back seat is not very comfortable. There's a lot of room in there. And I just noticed that that was very easy to get out of. Um, in comparison, I've been inside of BMWs and you know, Mercedes, like a C-Class Mercedes, the back seat is not this roomy, nor would a three series BMW be this roomy. So you have power seats. It's cool. Very nice seat design over here. We're gonna have uh, just the four window buttons, again with the power door opener, but on the front, just in case you're left stranded somewhere and your battery's dead, you do have a latch release so you can open the door without using the power button. 
I actually think that's a great feature. That's awesome because everybody, you know, range anxiety, electronic car anxiety. What if my car is dead? How do I open the door? Well, Tesla thought of that. That's, that's pretty cool. Now inside this car, the first thing you're going to see is a big screen. It's a massive screen in the center console and that's about it. A couple cup holders, got a couple knobs here. You've got two steering wheel column sticks that do various things. Um, this is all one very big vent system that's controlled through here. Uh, this piano black trim in the console. I'm not a fan, you can see this. This car just got here today. We haven't really done much to it, but you can see how dirty it gets. I would like to see that in a satin finish. Just again, I'm an OC detailer, so you know, this stuff like this drives me nuts because it's really hard to maintain. But I have a feeling we have a solution for that. I think we're gonna wrap it. I haven't decided yet, we'll try first. Uh, and then you have some storage space in here. Really cool, right here you have a place to put your phone that's got a dock for an iPhone or an Android. Uh, you can change those out. Uh, and then right here you've got a nice cubby hole. It's pretty dark. Um, you've got another one right here. Uh, and then you've got two cup holders. I, I actually, you know, uh, uh, the first generation Model S really had just this like really sleek looking little tray right here. And uh, I think they learned from that mistake because the newer ones come with a console with similar amount of storage space as this. But I remember in the first Model S's, I thought it looked so great until I drove one around and realized you had no room to put anything anywhere. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I see, you know, oh, this is something that we've all wanted for a very long time inside of a Tesla. I was very excited when I saw this, a lighted vanity mirror. I can look at how pretty I am. It's great, it's really great. I have this big panora panoramic roof up here. This is really cool. So along with the huge roof in the back, you got the huge piece of glass up here, huge, huge windshield. Feels like a very open car. It's just really cool. I mean, you know, you've got speaker placement up here. I haven't listened to it yet. I'm sure it sounds great. The steering wheel, it's all very simple, but I like the placement on everything. I have no qualms on this. Uh, I've been fortunate to drive just about every car on the planet. I was driving a, a new Porsche the other day and it's buttons galore and gadgets everywhere. And I love that as well, but this is a different kind of just simple. I mean, everything's controlled right here. I start the car apparently by putting the key right here. I can't hold this over here and get the car to start. It has to go right there. Well, that time it did, but yeah, you put your key right here. That's the RFID. Car comes on and everything's controlled from this screen. It's pretty straightforward. And that's my opinion of a Model 3. Just on a side note, we're gonna be performing a full custom paint protection film wrap on this car. Full paint correction, Seacourt's finest. Uh, uh, like any good Tesla, it came out of the factory with some defects that needed to be addressed. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos about Teslas, Model 3s, Porsches, any car you can imagine. We have them here all the time, and I'd love to show them to you.